Now this is a combo that I did not know I needed, but here it is. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome to Lee Reacts, hope everyone's having a good day. Yeah, I know I am. We are back with a, another Patreon pick from our alpha patron, Gail. Thank you as always, Gail. I truly appreciate it. She had picked a, another song that actually um, I knew from the radio, so we picked another one. And it is uh, Sir Elton John and John Lennon. Like, what? What a mix right there. It's uh, Whatever Gets You Through the Night Live at Madison Square Garden in 1974. Um, this was originally a single released by John Lennon in, uh, what year was it? 1974, the same year. So I guess he came out to perform this with uh, Elton. I don't know if this is Elton John featuring John Lennon or John Lennon featuring Elton John. It's kind of confusing, sorry. Keep up. Um, so I guess we're going to see. Uh, the video doesn't have it, like, titled, but it is a John Lennon track, though. So I I guess we're going to see. I can't vouch for the video quality or the audio quality, but um, I guess we're going to see. <laughs> if you are not subscribed, please help brother out. Click that icon right below my face. Um, I have two playlists for you. I got a John Lennon playlist right there, probably, or somewhere around here. <laughs> and I've got a um, Elton John playlist somewhere up there or around here. You know what I mean? Um, if you want to go watch this after this, that'd be great. All right. John Lennon, Elton John, whatever gets you through the night live, Madison Square Garden, 1974. In three, two, one, go. Seeing it's Thanksgiving, we thought we'd make tonight a little bit of a joyous occasion uh, by inviting someone up with us onto the stage. And, uh, I'm sure he will be no stranger to anybody in the audience when I say it's our great privilege and your great privilege to see and hear Mr. John Lennon. <laughs> yes. The man, the myth, the legend. Are we going to talk about what Elton's wearing or not? Are just going to leave that alone? Okay. Sounds like the studio track on top. Maybe not, I don't know. Yo, go.
right, John, wrap it up. Time to go home. Okay. That's awesome, man. I'm glad they included the pictures at the end. So you can see what it really looked like. I didn't know they were friends like that. That's so cool. But I know, I think John was friends with a lot of people. So, same with Elton, you know, they got a lot of connections. Um, the only thing, two things actually. What the fuck was he wearing? <laughs> that was pretty interesting. Um, second, I don't know what was up with that camera. I, why couldn't it have just stayed on the band and show Yoko like once or twice at the most? Why do you have to keep going back to her? It's John Lennon and Elton John. See, <laughs> saying that out loud made me angry. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, they definitely should have maybe not cut away as much to her. But what a fantastic song, though. Um, I haven't heard the actual studio cut of, you know, John Lennon's original song of um, but this obviously was Elton John featuring John Lennon, but playing a John Lennon song. What a confusing video, but I like it though. That was really good. Um, the band what, um, that was with them was the Elton John band, if you believe it or not. Um, let me go back to it. It was, so yeah, whatever gets you through the night was 1974. I don't know exactly what day. Oh, it was Thanksgiving day, you idiot. Yes. Yeah, Thanksgiving day. So this came out. about wait it was recorded what was released oh it's literally like a month or two before this concert so they did they plan that out they must have planned that obviously um oh so john lennon guitar vocals elton john harmony vocal and piano davy johnstone on guitar d murray on the bass okay nigel olsen on the drums yep ray cooper percussion and the muscle shoals horns which i remember a couple of those folks from all the Elton John videos we did for the Spotlight Artist of the Month, which we did like four albums, you know, four songs, four albums, pretty good deal. We actually need a sponsor for next month if anyone's interested in sponsoring um, Spotlight, which is, that's a big deal, you know? That's 16 songs, four weeks. <laughs> it's a lot, man, it really is. It's um, more work than you'd think, but uh, it's totally worth it, man, because I don't even really consider this work. I mean, it, it technically is, but I get to sit here and listen to music and hang out with you guys i mean come on dude i am very grateful for what i have and i'm very grateful for all of you guys and for music like this that brings people together like uh john and elton which <laughs> elton john elder i should have just said like that elton and john um so on the original recording was he on it yeah all right so that make okay well, there you go. That solves the mystery. Elton John was uh, on the original recording, so um, that makes more sense now. It's like, oh, this is random. No, it's not. <laughs> they uh, wrote, uh, John wrote the song, Elton played on it, and then I guess Elton was performing and then brought John on because it's Madison Square Garden in New York where I'm guessing, um, you know, Yoko <laughs> and him were right down the street and we're like, we're there. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, definitely enjoyed the extra percussion that came in there uh, about halfway through. Drums are tight. Uh, Nigel always is tight. Um, I remember that from Tumbleweed Connection from the self-titled. I think he was on the self-titled. I could be wrong. Don't quote me. But um, from the albums that he was on that I did hear, he was fantastic. Uh, and he was here too. Um, I think the real highlight though is definitely uh, Elton on the piano and just Elton and John singing together there you go now i got to say it uh beautiful harmony they really do um and now i kind of want to hear the studio recording which i'm is this just the studio recording because it i don't think that was live in 1974 audio quality i could be wrong though and um i'd like to be proven wrong to be honest but if that was the actual live quality good for them that must have been like straight from the soundboard or something but um it kind of sounded like the studio track over it because i thought i heard like a cut of like when they were talking originally and then going into it, or I'd be, I could be completely wrong, you know what I'm saying? And that was the actual live thing. But please let me know down below either way, because I want to know, um, for, just for my own sanity, because I don't want to feel like I'm crazy, because I'm already crazy, you know, so I don't want to feel crazier, but it is what it is. Uh, definitely the highlight, yep, Elton John on the piano, and uh, just Yoko, I guess. She, 
See, she does it so well. Like, I feel like she does half the stuff she does on purpose, and it works so well. You know, she would be considered a, um, and I don't say this in a bad way, like, I, I, trolls are people that just, like, mess with people to get a rise out of them. I feel like that's her art in a way. I feel like she is just trying to get a rise out of people half the time. And it works. Completely works. I think that's funny. Uh, or she completely... It, that's a scary thought. Oh, wow. Um, I'll leave that one alone. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, thank you again to our alpha patron, Gail H, for a great pick. Um, do they have anything else together? Is this the only song they did together? If there is anything else, I would love to hear it because um, that was really, really good. I like seeing artists that I love come together and make something cool like this. And that's exactly what this was. Um, but that, that must have been the live one because it said there was the live band. Damn, that was some good quality then. That's crazy. Whatever, man. I'm going to leave it alone. Have a good day, guys. See you later. If you didn't know, we have a Patreon in the description. We'd love to have you. Fit, uh, $15 tier, right? $15 tier up. Get one for your request a month. Uh, there's other tiers for other amounts of requests and such. There's also a PayPal in the description if you want to send a tip or request in that way. Thanks for watching. See you later.